cruel things that man may not name naked here without fear or shame laugh in the carven stone deep in the temple's innermost shrine is set where the bats and the shadows dwell the worn and ancient symbol of life at rest in its oval shell by which the men who of old the land possessed represented their great destroying power i cannot forget that just as my life was touching its fullest flower love came and destroyed it all in a single hour therefore the dual mystery suits me well sitting alone the tank's deep water is cool and sweet soothing and fresh to the wayworn feet dreaming under the tamarind shade one silently thanks the men who made so green a place in this bitter land of sunburnt sand the peacocks scream and the grey doves coo little green talkative parrots woo and small grey squirrels with fear askance at alien me in their furtive glance come shyly with quivering fur to see the stranger under their tamarind tree daylight dies the camp fires redden like angry eyes the tents show white in the glimmering light spirals of tremulous smoke arise to the purple skies and the hum of the camp sounds like the sea drifting over the sand to me afar in the desert some wild voice sings to a jangling zither with minor strings and under the stars growing keen above i think of the thing that i love a beautiful thing alert serene with passionate dreaming wistful eyes dark and deep as mysterious skies seen from a vessel at sea alas you drifted away from me and time and space have rushed in between but they cannot undo the thing that has been though it never again may be you were mine from dusk until dawning light for the perfect whole of that bygone night you belonged to me they say that love is a light thing a foolish thing and a slight thing a ripe fruit rotten at core they speak in this futile fashion to me who am racked with passion tormented beyond compassion for ever and ever more they say that possession lessens a lover's delight as radiant mornings fade into afternoon i held what i loved in my arms for many a night yet ever the morning lightened the sky too soon beyond our tents the sands stretch level and far around this little oasis of tamarind trees a curious eastern fragrance fills the breeze from the ruinous temple garden where roses are i dream of the rose-like perfume that fills your hair of times when my lips were free of your soft closed eyes while down in the tank the waters ripple and rise and the flying foxes silently cleave the air the present is subtly welded into the past my love of you with the purple indian dusk with its clinging scent of sandal incense and musk and withering jasmine flowers my eyes grow dim and my senses fail at last while the lonely hours follow each other silently one by one till the night is almost done 
then weary and drunk with dreams with my garments damp and heavy with dew i wander towards the camp tired with a brain in which fancy and fact are blent i stumble across the ropes till i reach my tent and then to rest to ensweeten my sleep with lies to dream i lie in the light of your long lost eyes my lips set free to love and linger over your soft loose hair to dream i lay your delicate beauty bare to solace my fevered eyes ah if my life might end in a night like this drift into death from dreams of your granted kiss end of poem <laughs>